The initiative by the Office of the First Lady has seen young people taking part in a three-kilometer half run from and to State House with the First Lady in the forefront before touring the State House, being entertained, motivated and engaging with the high offers. The Be Free movement has successfully managed to engage young people since its establishment by doing the things that young people do and transforming them in the process. We once asked at, um, at an event, what has Be Free taught you? And many of them said, it's taught me how to be confident, to believe in myself, and to use the services available to help young people. But the most important part for me is Be Free has linked many, many teenagers across the country to services. The movement is an intergenerational and non-judgmental platform that fosters honest dialogue on issues affecting adolescents and young people such as gender-based violence, HIV, sexual and reproductive health. We, we're playing an important role in shaping the right mindsets not only to young people, but also to parents. And I, I, I get many questions from adults who say, First Lady, how can I help contribute to making Namibia a better country? And I always say to them, the most powerful form of nation building and your most powerful contribution is to raise functional children. Testimonies aimed at prevention were also shared Danny Firmes is an inmate at the Ventu Correctional Facility who has been in prison for a decade, sentenced for murdering someone under the influence of substance abuse. Venetia Sanyeka is a victim of rape. I was very young when I came to prison, very young. And what about my kids? They are now fatherless because of alcohol and drugs. So let me encourage you, don't use these things at all. Therapy helped me see that it wasn't my fault. And one thing that I did realize is that I'm not the only one. We are a lot. One in every three women in this country have been sexually abused. We need to stop and we need to have initiatives that focus on the perpetrator and that help it. Young people in attendance were overwhelmed by the experience. I learn a lot, especially from the First Lady, because we are always with her at most of the events. We learn new things. Yes, you should certainly do more of that, because it's inspiring the young generation very much. Another part of the process was tree planting. The hashtag Be Free movement has engaged young people from all regions in the country. Salima Henok, NBC News, State House.